welcome back to the Studio Daily Bullet Dawn. Today it's uh, January 30th. Yep, 2020. Mm -hmm. And let's start off this announcement by yearbook. It's yearbook week, guys. So this is the last week to get your yearbook for $80 and personalize it. After January 31st, the price will go up to 85 and will and we will only have 50 books left at that cost. Get yours while supplies last. This is the this is also the last week to purchase and set up a personal and personal ads. Yearbook staff will be raffling off one one book this week as well. One ticket is one dollar. Six tickets will be five dollars. If you <clears throat> uh, even if you had already purchased one, you can still take uh, advantage and receive a, a portion of your money back. Same as Qubits in C203 for further details. All right, guys, and uh, here's some SAT prep course information. The first reading session will take place uh, Tuesday, February 4th, in Miss Alloway's room, which is A203, at, uh, right after school, 225 until 425. The math session will take place Wednesday, the next day, February 5th, in Miss Bayes' room, A220, A221, again, same time, 225 to 425. And if students do not attend the first session, then they will not be able to participate in the remainder of the course. So you have to make sure to show up to the first one, guys. And don't forget that a free SAT practice is being offered to the 11th and 12th graders uh, who are taking the SAT this year. If It will be in the, administered by the Princeton Review Company on Saturday, February 15th, in our cafeteria. And guys, I took it. It was pretty useful. I took it last year and it was pretty useful. So show up. It's very useful. Get the advantage, you know. And a junior student, uh, studies show that if you take the practice state assessment, helps students improve their scores on the actual test day, making them more familiar with the test taking process itself. So, if you want to sign up, ask your language arts teacher to add you to the list if you have forts, if you have language arts here at Fortson, that is. If you take it at HFC or Michael Berry, uh, ask another one of your teachers to print out a sign-up form for you guys. All right, so we have some more news from the capital. Attention to all seniors that have, that have parking spots. All seniors and juniors parking in the parking spot, they don't have a parking pass in the uh, student lab. We will be issuing tickets starting s the second semester, regardless, 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 my bad guys, regardless of having a parking pass. If you are in the wrong spot, you will be ticketed. So come to room A106 for your number again. So guys, please, please park in your number. Now, helping the environment. Fortune the Environmental Club has teamed up with a company called Trex. We are collecting clear plastic bags and we'll be sending them to Trex who reuses, who reuses them in their products. There is a collection bin by the tractor, one in A118 uh, and one in Mrs. Musa's room in, their lo lo in the lower A hole where, where the copies are. <laughs> Any clear plastic, free of food, will work including plastic grocery bags, Ziploc bag, zip bags, clear plastic packaging, newspaper sleeves, ice bags, bread bags, case wraps, and etc. Please bring your plastic from home. These were the Sude daily announcements for today. I'm Zinedine Beikai. And I'm Alexander Skandulik. But wait, before you guys go, please make sure to go see the uh, play. The last two dates are today, 3.30. Doors open 3 though. And tomorrow, same time. Tickets are seven dollars right now if you pre if you get them before the day, and or nine dollars at the door, and uh, you can get them from A100 or from drama uh, board members. And that's all. Here's the SAT word of the day. Hey guys, Ali Malik here with the SAT word of the day. The SAT word of the day is exasperation. It is a noun. The state of being irritated. Examples are, the, long, the longer Jorge waited in line at the ticket counter, the more his exasperation grew. Synonyms include irritation and frustration. And that was the SAT word of the day.